What's up guys, it's Jeff here, back again with yet another video. So the thing is that I was actually thinking about how much I actually spend um, in a month as I am actually starting to do some sort of a budgeting for myself with the expenditure that I actually am doing um, for the past few months. So I actually thought about um, a video concept where I can actually share with you guys how much do I actually spend in one week and what are the, some of the miscellaneous charges that I actually have to encounter and actually pay for. So the thing is I actually uh, took this sort of experiment into account right after I paid off all my uh, essential bills. So that's all my utility bills, my phone bills, uh, my subscriptions such as my Spotify, um, Amazon. And what I'm actually going to be calculating for this um, small one week experiment will be basically things that I actually spend on every single day and also um, possible um, expenses that actually comes into my life such as various uh, investments that I actually need to buy in into. However, I feel that it might be inaccurate to some extent because I do include um, what are the various investments that I actually buy into. However, I will only include these uh, investments that I actually buy into if they are for long-term investment as compared to what I'm actually doing since I am day trading every single day. And for me to actually uh, put into the cost of what I am buying every single day, it would kind of bring this video out of proportion and it will be very very inaccurate for me to actually um, talk about all the different things that i buy so yeah so let's just go on with the video i'll start with day one all right so the thing is today it's monday and um i'm still at work i just started work not long ago actually just ended an appointment and i spent a dollar fifty cents on a cup of coffee earlier and that's all I spent today. I have not eaten anything yet, so I'll keep you guys updated. So I just got home um, and I just paid for gas and it is $103.62. Um, so I'm guessing I have to add this into my weekly sales as well. And also earlier, I had yet another cup of coffee. So I'm gonna add another $1.50 into that. And right now it's 9.30 literally at Market Open. I just got home. And I haven't eaten anything throughout the day except two cups of coffee. So I am gonna be eating my uh, meal prep, um, which if I'm not mistaken, it should be about $13 or so per meal. So just for the sake of this um, experiment kind of thing, I'm just gonna include it in here into my whole entire weekly expenses as well. So yeah, um, that means two cups of coffee, uh, gas money, and my meal prep and that should be the end of my monday um today's the second day i just got up for work and right now i'm on my way headed over to um a job site of mine and um today i have not really spent anything because i literally just got out of my uh, home i'm currently drinking a can of uh, green tea and I probably won't be eating anything either um, until I end work, which is most probably about 8, 8 p.m. or so, I believe. Uh, unless if I go and snack on something, but yeah. Um, yeah, today I don't think I'm gonna be spending a lot of money either. Uh, if I'm busy, I don't think I'll be spending a lot of money, unless if I really want to buy coffee from a proper cafe, and that will really cost me, but other than that, that should be, that shouldn't be much for today. So yeah, so that's just an update for Tuesday. So I am on my way to my fourth appointment and I actually went by a drive-thru to get some Mac Ice Latte and also a little bit of a snack. I got a 12 piece McNuggets. Um, so I am trying not to get any sort of cups into my body um, for keto, diet reasons but the thing is that i'm pretty sure nuggets still have cups to begin with um but you know i thought that um that's the easiest that i can do with a rainy weather and i need some food in me and you know me getting a cup of coffee is literally what is driving me um like keeping me sane to say the least but yeah, anyway, I'm heading to my fourth appointment. Hopefully, I'm not going to spend more money. Um, I've spent about $10 here. I'll actually put the proper price figure somewhere in this video. 
So yeah, just a mini update. Finally done with my fourth appointment of the day and I just bought another cup of coffee earlier um, from a coffee shop. So that would be an additional $1.60. The coffee here is slightly more expensive, I guess. But yeah, um, an additional cup of coffee. Just another update because the thing is that um, I just purchased a little bit more Bitcoin, a little bit more Cardano, and a little bit more Polkadot. So I spent a total of $1,700 um, USD. I'll try to do the calculation here somewhere. So I spent a total of 1,700 USD on reloading onto Bitcoin, Cardano and Polkadot. Yes, oh my God. Yeah, so I reloaded into these three different uh, token. Um, and I thought that, you know, I have I had to do it in this week as well. I'm not trying to inflate the numbers for this challenge. But the thing is because uh, the CPI data came out and there was an obvious dip that I really felt the need for me to buy in on. And to be honest, um, I am starting to try to gain more exposure into the cryptocurrency scene as well. Currently, I'm only about 8 to 9% into it. I'm trying to get in, uh, closer to my 10% um, threshold before I actually stop reloading into uh, cryptocurrency as a whole. So yeah, uh, just like a small update kind of thing. And... Yeah, other than that, I don't think I'd be buying any uh, more investment-related items. However, I might be looking into buying a little bit more Coinbase if it comes out, uh, if the price is low enough and I feel like doing it. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it might not be this week. It might be maybe in a week or two. But yeah, I, I think for today, Tuesday, 10.30 p.m., and that's the update for what I've spent today. So yeah. So the thing is right now it is 1 a.m. And the thing is because my computer speakers has really been pissing me off and it keeps making this static sound and it has been the case for about um, a one to two month time and I really, really hate it. So the thing is I kind of bought a new speakers on Amazon. Uh, it costs about $30. Uh, yeah, it's twenty. It's twenty nine eighty. I'm just gonna round it up to thirty dollars. And also, uh, I thought that I needed a swimming cap because I normally swim and like because I just permed my hair not long ago. And my hairstylist did tell me that you know, in order for me to um, not degrade the quality of my hair, it's better for me to wear a sw swimming cap when I actually go to swim. So yeah, I also bought a swimming cap and it. It's gonna set me back another six dollars and eighty four cents, which same thing. I'm just gonna round it up to seven dollars for easier calculation for myself in the future. So yeah, it's not a good start to a Wednesday because I just spent almost like forty dollars as it is without even eating anything yet. But yeah, bad start to a Wednesday for sure. So uh, I'm having lunch after. Uh, gymming and I'm eating economical rice and also I got a cup of coffee and apparently this coffee is like freaking expensive it's $2.30 for this coffee um, and for my food it's about $7.50 so yeah Wednesday is a bus since I actually went out to eat so yeah I'll see okay, how it goes so the thing is um I'm actually in the midst of uh, doing some editing for my video and also um, reading the charts and reading the news um, and I got a little bit um, snacky so I went to order acai from Acai Affair um, however okay this this actually cost me like $18 um, inclusive of delivery charge is gonna be about $21 um, However, I just want to say it, I did have a $15 voucher from ShopBack simply because I've spent so much money using ShopBack. And due to the fact that I've always been using ShopBack, I have also um, managed to accumulate a lot of um, money from all the cashback throughout the months and years, I guess. Um, and yeah, I bought a $15 ShopBack voucher just so I can get this for free. 
Okay, it's not free. I still have to pay for the delivery fees and the extra $3. So this acai actually cost me about $21, but now it's just $6. I just want to say, you know, I did try to save a little bit. But yeah, um, I'm just a little snacky. I can't do anything about it. So yeah, I'm just going to be doing my editing and also uh, reading some news, uh, watching some live stream as well. And also looking through the stocks and yeah, I'm pretty sure this should be the end of my expenses for today. So yeah, um, I actually ordered this last month. This is actually my rent. Um, uh, I bought my computer about last month and I actually wanted to upgrade my RAM slots in my computer. And so I ordered this, but the thing is that it was actually out of stock for the whole of last month. And Amazon have this feature where you are actually able to just add it into your cart and, you know, just make an order and they only deduct the money um, after they actually um, approve of this delivery and they deliver it over to you. And yeah, you know, kind of unlucky when I'm doing this challenge, they actually delivered this over. So I think I need to put this into my weekly course as well. So yeah, you know, um, sadly, this is gonna this is gonna be entering my weekly count. So as well. I just uh, came back from my swim. I just got my food here, which is the standard meal prep. Um, just coffee, chicken, broccoli, bitter gourd, and some eggs. Um, I'm currently looking through some pre market trends and some news, so I can cover the news later. And yeah, I think for today I won't be spending as much. Um, I have like a good amount of uh, savings today and also got my trusty cup of coffee yeah this coffee is gonna cost me like 30 cents so i'm not gonna put this in and i already bought a lot of coffee pots to begin with but anyway um this this mail is gonna set me back about 13 dollars to 14 dollars or so and i don't see myself spending any more money today hopefully that would be the case and yeah, that should be a Thursday for me. It is Friday and well, I'm drinking green tea. Uh, well, I was drinking green tea. Um, so yeah, the thing is that I'm going to work at the moment. I just left my house. Uh, this green tea was actually bought a few weeks back actually. Uh, it was in my fridge. So I'm not going to add a cost to that. Uh, but yeah, anyway, um, I just want to say uh, today I don't see myself spending that much money However, I did spend a little money last night um, At about 3am I bought um, a standing light with a phone mount uh, I'll update the price somewhere in here as well But yeah, um, I'm spending money I shouldn't be spending uh, I guess I just needed a little bit of retail therapy but yeah, nevertheless, um, hopefully I should be able to stay below $300 in this week, hopefully. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to drive to my appointment. So yeah, I'm going to update you guys later. It's Friday, uh, I'm going to be ending the day very, very soon. Right now, I'm just trading a little bit and reading some news. Uh, I'm also putting on some live stream uh, in the background. I just lowered the volume a little bit. So I'm just going to cover what I actually had today, which is my standard meal prep. I also had two cups of coffee. Um, outside and I'm still having my by the dip cup of coffee at home which is I think about 30 cents or so I'm not very sure but the cup of coffee that I had outside it was $1.70 for one of the cup and the other cup was $1.90 so I'll just uh, put it like a rough $4 for easier um, average for me to actually keep track of uh, and also my meal prep so um, yeah, I think that's all I actually spent today. I did not buy anything online yet. Uh, I don't really have an issue with uh, continuously buying things online. But like, you know, just in case I do buy anything online, I'm just going to be updating it here. And yeah. Um, oh yeah, okay. Uh, technically, I did buy a, a ring light. So that would technically be counted into Friday's expenses as well. But yeah, anyway, tomorrow, which is Saturday, um, I have to work as well. Um, and I'll be going over to a few of my job sites in the morning. Hopefully, I do not um, buy any coffee. Um, but because I'll be done, hopefully, by about 2 p.m. or so. And then I'll come home, break my fast, 
and you know, hopefully just not spend any money at Saturday all. Saturday afternoon, I just finished visiting my job site and yeah, I am going to possibly have lunch now uh, and I'll see how much I spend later. So I just showered and it's Saturday at about 10.30 p.m. at the moment and yeah, I think my Saturday should be done. I only had my meal prep today and also a cup of coffee when I'm on my job site. So that's about it that I spent today. I did not really spend on anything else. Oh yeah, and by the way, like you know, this is the this is the sick ass um light thing that I wanted to get, like a mounted light kind of thing. But yeah, that, that's kind of what I bought, and it actually came earlier today. And yeah, so that's gonna be what I'm gonna be using to film um some of my content in the future. So yeah, uh, that should be all for my Saturday update. Tomorrow I'm pretty sure i'm not gonna be going out as well and yeah i think it's gonna be quite easy for me to do the conclusion for this entire week of spending the thing is that it is sunday um right now it's about 11 pm and i forgot to give an update today because the thing is i actually did not have my standard meal prep instead i actually had my i actually had burgers from wolf burgers i had two burgers for the entire day and yeah, I'm just gonna add that to the course and I think that should be the end of my one week challenge and I will just show how much I have um, actually spent and I'll tabulate it all to show you guys how much I actually spent in a week. That'll be the end of the video. Um, I hope you guys like this kind of content. This is actually how much I spent from Monday all the way to Sunday. This is just gonna be what I actually do on a week to week basis other than all the random investments that I actually do from time to time. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's gonna be the end of the video. Um, please give me a thumbs up uh, if you like the, this kind of video content and also feel free to subscribe to me down below. And also, please check out my socials down below as well with my Instagram um, link down below and all my affiliate links such as my Momo and my Tiger Brokers if you do want to get some free stocks. But yeah, anyway, thank you so much for watching and invest safe. Bye.